Hey guys, welcome back to the vlog channel. I hope you're all doing amazing. We miss you all so much. I know it's been a while since we last spoke to you and um, I kind of wanted to just address it before we just go back into vlogging and like, you know, kept filming for you guys. Um, but we really needed to take a break, you know, COVID and everything happening around the world has really taken a toll in our daily lives and it's been really hard. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. We've been trying to figure it out, trying to adjust to this new normal. Um, it's just Jose and myself and the baby. We moved here and we thought things were gonna be completely different. And it turned out that as soon as we moved here, COVID happened and completely changed everything. That's Haley. She has grown so much. You guys will see her in the vlog later on today. But she is nonstop so tall with her little pigtails over there. Um, but yeah, we miss you all so much. We really needed that break. I even took a break from Instagram and posting on any of my social networks. Like I just really went MIA and it wasn't because I wanted to, it kind of just happened um, because of everything going on. And just sometimes you really do need a mental break, especially being on social media. We talk about everything going on in our lives and we're constantly sharing everything that's going on. Um, so we really needed that and I'm so grateful that we were able to take it and for you guys for sticking around. I know we've been so inconsistent this past year here on the vlog channel, but that's something that we're working on and we're hoping to get better because this has been one of our goals is to be consistent on the vlog channel. I'm really excited to be back. I feel like I haven't talked to you guys in so long and I miss you know, interacting with you and talking with you. And I said this on Instagram, it just feels so weird going about our day and not telling you guys what we're doing, not catching up with you, not sharing our daily lives. So yeah, we've just been, you know, adjusting to the new normal, but I'm really excited for the holidays. Everything's coming up. I can't believe it's already the second week of November. Like it just literally flew by. So I've been like shopping everywhere, trying to find the stuff that I wanted for our Christmas decorations. And this year, honestly, you guys, like before the holidays, you know, just approached us, I was like, I'm so excited. I can't wait to do this and do that. When it was time to start, you know, planning for the decorating and everything, I just completely blacked out. Like I was like, oh, what am I gonna do? <laughs> I have no idea. Like, what are we gonna do? At what colors? Like, I just honestly, like after everything that we've been through, that was the last thing on my mind. So I kind of just ran with it. Um, I winged it and I'm so happy with everything that we ended up getting and we're still missing a few things that you'll see later on hopefully in this video or in my decorating video which will be up on my main channel so stay tuned for that but for today I wanted to show you guys everything that we bought for our Christmas tree to decorate the house the windows um just a lot of really cute stuff and I'm really excited because this year I feel like Haley knows sort of like what's going on and she's um she knows like Santa Christmas songs so it's gonna be really fun for her to see us decorating the tree and putting everything up so I'm really excited about that we're gonna do it all together I love matching pages just like every year um so you guys will see that on my main channel but for today I want to show you guys everything I bought and everything I'm gonna use to decorate. This intro was already too long, so let me show you guys everything that I bought. Do you wanna say hi with Haley? Hi, you wanna say hi? <laughs> hi everybody. She messed up her hair. Uh-oh, I did two pigtails on her today. Give me the binky. And <laughs> she fell asleep, she took a nap. Watch TV, playing around. Give me that pinky. <laughs> and say hi, everybody. <laughs> hi, I miss you. Oh, oh, oh. So we were supposed to document us buying all this stuff and I lost the camera in one of the stores, completely forgot. Two days later, I'm like, where's the vlogging camera? And then Jose calls the store and thank God, praise Jesus, they found the camera. Um, somebody turned it in. 
And all we the, were able to get that footage. All the workers were just like, why would you bring a camera into our stores? I know. Like, oh, I don't know. And some people still don't get what like vlogging is. So they they think you're just being a creep. <laughs> no, they probably thought we were trying to like do like a hidden video. Get behind the scenes of what goes on at the Christmas shops. Mm -hmm. Which by the way, we didn't find anything at the Christmas shops. I don't, I didn't really like that store. I definitely had high expectations going in there. And then when we got there, it was like, so, it was a mess. And they didn't really have much, like. I think we're still a little bit early. No, it's the second week of November. Christmas is well, like a month away. Everyone starts decorating like by Thanksgiving, I want to say a few weeks before, you know, we go extra early because we document everything. Yeah, you want to tell everybody how you been? You want to tell everybody how you been? You been a good girl? Yeah? Jumping around, being a silly girl. Look how big she is. You want to show them Santa? You want to show them Santa? Uh-oh. Okay, go show them Santa. Adios. Say bye bye to mama. Say adios to mama. Bye, princess. Adios. Uh oh, he already knows. You're not going, fat boy. So, Jose and Haley are going to head out for a bit. I am going to show you guys everything that we bought for Christmas and to decorate the house. Um, some stuff from last year. Oh yeah, and then we also brought some stuff from LA, so I'm really excited about that. Honestly, I didn't even realize that I had those. I thought all the ones we had were silver, and when I saw that they were white, I was like, yes! Um, but yeah, I'll see you guys in a bit. I'm gonna do um, kind of like a haul of everything we got. So I'm gonna set up the camera, and we can start showing everything we purchased. These are all the trees that they have in stock. I love, love, love the lighter ones. I just think it looks so pretty, especially in our home since we have a lot of neutral colors. Um, so the one that we want is nine feet. I think it's gonna fit seven and a half feet. I think we had in our last house, but let me show you guys the one that I'm talking about. So it's this one right here. It's pre-lit, it's a flogged tree and i like how it also looks really cool and even if it was a little tall i feel like we can bend the top piece and it'll fit fine but i think our ceilings are about 11 or 12 feet which should be fine but yeah this is the one that i saw online and i really like it so we might end up getting this one hey You love mama? Uh, agua? You want agua? You like this tree? Mm -hmm. You like this Christmas tree? Or you want to do a green one? I love this one. It kind of looks like fake snow. It's on the tips. Yeah, I think that's what they were going for. 328. Here it is. It looks pretty good, this paint. Hey! She's looking at Santa. Is this Santa? Oh, she's looking at the reindeer up there. Whoa! Hey, I'm just standing here. Oh. Can I help Dada? You got it. I think that'll definitely fit. We just have to put one of the chairs down. So they have a few ornaments here, but nothing that really catches my eye. So I think I'm gonna check another store for the ornaments. But I do like these little fake Santa stands that they have here. So I might get two of these and put them by the fireplace. I think Kaylee will really love it. And then maybe one of these for the outside of the house. I like how this one lights up. 
Super cute. I'm gonna start off with the items that I'm gonna be using for the Christmas tree. This year, we're gonna be doing red and white. Like I told you guys earlier in the video, I wasn't really sure what direction I was gonna go. So I kind of just winged it while going to the stores and browsing around. And I really wanted to have something a little bit more traditional with the red and the white and just make it really Christmassy. Last year's tree was, I believe, pink and champagne and it was just so gorgeous so glam if you haven't seen that video i'll link it in the description box below so you can check it out but this year we're going a little bit different i'm really excited to see how everything is going to turn out i never really lean towards like bright colors like red or green just because i don't know it's not really my style but this year having Haley, i feel like she's more aware and she's really excited about Santa and just, you know, the decorations in general, like just looking around and sing, singing Christmas songs. I've been showing her like the Grinch and just Christmas movies. So she's kind of like aware of what Christmas is about. She doesn't really understand what it is yet, but I'm excited to see what her face is going to be like once we bring out the tree and start decorating and playing the Christmas music. It's like I've dreamed of this for so long, so I'm so excited. So let me show you guys the ornaments that I bought for the Christmas tree. These are both from C Gallery. These are absolutely gorgeous. They're so glamorous. They kind of have like faux diamond shaped pieces all around. It is just so stunning. I'm obsessed with it. When I saw it, I was like, okay, I need to have this. Whatever I do with the tree, I'm gonna incorporate this one right here. So I ended up getting a few pieces of this style. And then I also got this jumbo size ornament right here. I didn't realize I already had these. I have about, three, six, I have nine extra ones, which I'm really happy about. These are from last year that I used for my pink Christmas tree. So I'm excited that I get to fill it up a little bit more with these extra balls. But these are gorgeous. They don't have a lot of fallout yet. They still look super glam and beautiful. And I just love them. I think they were about $10 a piece, but they were on sale for 20% off, which if the sale is still going on, I'll link it in the description box below. So we're gonna be mixing these two white ornaments with matte red balls, which I don't have right now, but by the time that we're gonna be filming the video, they should be here. So these are the balls that I got. I ended up getting um, more of the jumbo size because I really want this to be like the main point of the Christmas tree. We also went to Michael's and I saw these really pretty floral ornaments. So I figured they'll be really nice to put around the tree. You can like open them up and make it look a lot more realistic but it's really pretty. It's just white with like the shimmer and the glitter all around. When you open it and fix it up, it definitely looks a lot better than what it does now, but I really like it. I think it'll be really nice to mix in with this glitter that I have going on with the ornaments. And then these are the silver ones that I have from last year as well. These are the jumbo size from Z Gallery. I don't know if I'm gonna use them to be honest with you guys. But I brought them upstairs just in case so when we start decorating, I'll see what the vibe is and how it's going and then I'll decide if I want to use them. But these are also stunning. Like they look like a disco ball. They're so pretty. So these are so huge, which I love. I don't really like the traditional ornaments. I think they're just too small and I really like it to be a little bit over the top. So these are really nice. Um, they are a little bit on the pricier side, but they always have a coupon code on their site. And um, if you sign up for their newsletter, I think you also get a coupon code. So I always use those when I'm going to the store. And then I also got this star right here. I don't know if I'm gonna use it, but I really liked how it looked. It also has shimmer in the center. So I figured it would be really nice to have with the glitter ornaments that I'm gonna put around the tree. I can't remember if it was last year or the year before that, that I did something completely different as a topper for the tree. It just looks so extravagant and so glamorous. And I was trying to do the same thing this year, but I couldn't find any of those items. I went to Z Gallery, I went to Michaels, I went to Target. Target doesn't really have those type of things, but usually Michaels and like craft stores have those type of ornaments that I was looking for. And this year I just couldn't find anything. So yeah, that's something that I have to probably research online to see if I find. So that's everything that I'm using for this tree so far. I've also bought a few things to decorate around the house. Oh, by the way, the tree, I'm gonna use this skirt right here. It's just like faux fur, really pretty. I do need to buy stuffing or something to put beneath it so that it can look a little bit more plushed. 
but this is the same one that we used last year. It was from Target and um, I really like it. Right above the fireplace, I'm gonna put this garland, oh, I'm like walking off. Right above the fireplace, I'm gonna put this garland. It's kind of similar to the Christmas tree that we have and I really like it. It's also the perfect length to go um, in the section that we have in the living room. That space is not too big, it's also not too small. So I needed something that I can also use for the stockings. So I ended up getting these right here. So pretty, so plush. It's kind of like that faux fur as well, similar to the Christmas skirt that I showed you guys. But I ended up getting four of these. Now that I'm looking at the stockings, I love them. But I do need to add something to separate them and just tell which ones for who. So if you guys have any ideas, let me know in the comments below. Maybe I can add like a letter or something i don't know like last year's socks came with the letter already placed in the front but this year <laughs> i didn't get a letter so maybe i can add something else for each stocking so I ended up getting four of these these are gonna go right below the garland and by the way i will be showing everything how i'll be decorating on my main channel so make sure you subscribe and turn on your notifications so you can be notified when that video goes up. I also got some really cute pieces for the living room, for the shelves, for the credenza. And then I might put some in the dining table as well. So I got this little set of mini bottle brush trees. These are so cute to put spread out all over the shelves. I also got this really pretty, so gorgeous. I love the glitter. I love anything with glitter. Um, this cute little Santa house. I figured this would be nice for the shelves as well. And then it also turns on, which is really cute. Haley's going to really like that. And then we also got this little snow globe for 2020. Haley loves when we play the little music there. And then I also found these cute little trucks at Target. I got a white one and a red one. Super cute, it kind of looks like those vintage cars. So I'm planning to put this maybe on the credenza or over on the shelves. And then at Target, I also found these cute little red houses. So I'm gonna spread these out throughout the shelves. They had a small and medium size. So I ended up getting a few different sizes. Really like how simple they are, so they'll be nice to put all over the shelves. I found this cute Santa at Michael's. So I'm probably gonna put this on the credenza. We also found a Santa that's three feet tall. I think I'm gonna put it right next to the fireplace. Haley is kind of scared of him right now, but I think, I think she'll get used to it once we like, you know, officially have him out. Right now we have it in the pantry because she's scared of him. Um, and then I also found this cute little sleigh. So pretty, I love the cream and the glitter. It is just like a girly sleigh, so I'm planning to put this over on the shelves as well. And I also wanted a little countdown for Christmas. So I found this one at Michael's and definitely picked it up because I really like it. This is going on the credenza and I'm thinking every day for Vlogmas, surprise, we're doing Vlogmas. Um, we can start off the vlog with the countdown for Christmas. So that'll be really exciting. I love that it goes with the theme of everything we have going on. I found these cute little trees also at Michael's. They shed like crazy. So I'm trying not to move them too much because glitter is gonna go everywhere. And then we also got these uh, damage free hanging little hooks. I use these for everything around the house because they don't damage the walls or anything. So I'm gonna use this for the fireplace. Michaels has the best decor pieces. I found these cute little gift boxes. They have the same style as everything that I've been showing you today. I really like the cream color and the glitter all around. And then I saw these Santa boots and I just couldn't pass. I thought they were so cute. So I'm gonna put these on the shelves as well, but they're so pretty. They are glass though, so you wanna be careful. I do have to keep these away from Haley because she's gonna think that they're her shoes. And uh, yeah, she can drop and break it. So it's not plastic. I have to be careful. Make sure I put it up high in the shelves. Just had to switch out the battery. Jose just called me. He ended up finding the red shimmer small ornaments. So I'm so happy. That was the only thing that we were missing 
for the Christmas tree. So let me show you guys Haley's Christmas tree because we're gonna put up a tree up in her bedroom and I'm so, so, so excited. I didn't wanna buy anything too big or too drastic because you know, it's a little tree and I feel like it'll be really cute to have her up there and take some pictures and just for memory. So I ended up getting this three foot tabletop three. It also comes pre-lit. I think it was like 15 bucks or no, it was actually $12.99, which is really good. So I'm planning to put this upstairs in her bedroom and I'm gonna make it really girly, a lot of pink. So ended up finding these mini sized ornaments at Target. They have the shimmer pink, the solid pink, the bright pink and some white in there. So I thought it would be really cute. So I ended up getting four packs of these and I believe they come with the hooks. Yeah, they do come with the hooks. I remember last year, I ended up getting one for her and I was like, oh wait, these don't have the hooks. So I ended up buying extra hooks. Oh wait, I should call Jose and tell him to bring some hooks because we don't have for the big tree. Just reminded myself. Yes. <laughs> so we have the little ornaments. I also saw these cute little deers over at Target. So I ended up getting two packs of these. Super cute. So I'm going to add them to the tree as well. Ended up getting this mini tree skirt. I just cannot view it. It's so cute. This is also the faux fur, really cute and pink. And then I got this star right here over at Michael's. I think we might film Haley's tree for this vlog channel and then the main tree for my main channel. So stay tuned for that. And these are the socks from last year, but we lost mine. So we only have Haley's, Jose's, and Matt's. So we have to find the D or maybe get it at Target or something. Cause I did see they have the small ones. That's where initially we got it. Um, but yeah, we don't, we lost the letter D. And then this star is from last year. I don't think we'll use it. We just had it in the box that I brought from LA. So I might just keep that there. I do want to show you guys these gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous pieces that I found. So glamorous. First of all, I got this deer. Hold on. I gotta move the chair so you guys can see it. I found this deer over at Z Gallery and I just cannot pass. It is so gorgeous and it goes perfect with our Christmas decorations. So I'm gonna put this over on the credenza. And then at Z Gallery, I also found these cones. These are matching to the ornaments that I showed you in the beginning of the video with kind of like the faux little diamonds all around. It's just so, so, so pretty. It's gonna be the first thing you see as you walk in the house, not that anybody's coming over because of damn COVID, but you know what, it's okay. I'm so still decorating, still in the holiday spirit. And then this is the Santa that I told you we ended up getting at Home Depot, he's three feet tall. That is everything that we ended up buying. I'm so excited to see how everything's gonna look and just to start decorating. Make sure you're subscribed to the main channel and to the vlog channel so you'll be notified when those videos are gonna go up. I'll try and find everything and link it in the description box below, so make sure you check that out. And that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you all in the next one very soon. Bye. Is young, won't you sing for me? Won't you sing for me till we fall asleep?